हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट इन अ प्रोसीजर टू इवैल्यूएट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द ट्राइसेप्स मसल अ पर्सन पुशेस डाउन ऑन अ लोड सेल विद द पाम ऑफ हिज हैंड इज इंडिकेटेड इन द फिगर इफ द लोड सेल रीडिंग इज 160 न्यूटन सो द लोड सेल हियर इज giving a reading of 160 newton so this means that the reaction of the load cell on the hand is 160 newton and which will be acting in this upward direction so we are required to determine the vertical tensile force f generated by the tricep muscle right so this is the tricep muscle so we have to find this force f and it is said that the mass of the lower arm is 1 1.5 kg so this is the lower arm and the weight of this lower arm will be acting at this point g and its mass is 1.5 kg so the weight of this lower arm will be 1.5 into 9.81 so this is approximately 14.72 newtons right and it is said that state any assumptions right so the assumptions are that the reaction forces on the palm are very small and we will neglect them right and the second assumption that is that the humerus is in vertical position right so we assume that this humerus is in the vertical position and the third assumption assumption is that ulna and hand are in horizontal position right so this uh, ulna and hand both are in horizontal position they are in the exact horizontal position right so now if if this is the reaction at point o and let's say that this is the hum the reaction at this point o and let's say that this is acting in the x direction right let's say we have two reaction right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so as we can see that only this hx will be acting in the x direction so this means that hx reaction is equal to 0 right so this means that there is no reaction at this point o in the x direction right so we can remove this now to find this force f if we apply the summation of moment at point o equals to 0 and let's assume that the counter clockwise moment is positive right so now we can see that this uh, 160 newton force is producing the counter clockwise moment about this point o so we will write 160 plus 160 and the perpendicular distance of this 160 newton force from that point o is this 150 plus 150 so this is 300 mm right similarly this weight is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus and this is 14.72 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point o is 150 mm right so we will write 150 and again if we look into this force f so this is producing the clockwise moment about this point o we will write minus this f and the perpendicular distance of this force f from point o is 25 mm so we will multiply this with 25 and this will be equal to 0 so in this equation only that uh, f force the tricep force is unknown so this will give us that required force so from this equation f comes out to be 1831.68 newton